Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Cam. So today, Cancer, I got the strength card. I feel either some of you guys are actually dealing with a Leo or this could just be the energy that they want you to have right now or they I feel like the energy is to keep going, right? To sometimes it's hard to find time or energy or strength, right? When we're tired or when, you know, things haven't been working out for a long time. And I feel like this is an encouraging message for you guys to keep going. So whether it's something in finances that hasn't really worked out, you know, sometimes things don't go according to our plan, right? I think that's the hardest thing for us to accept, like timelines, right? So we set a plan and we want things to happen a certain way and then it doesn't, right? And I feel like that could be the hardest thing sometimes, like just timelines and trying to, you know, push our agenda onto, I guess, the divines, right? Because I guess everything does happen in divine timing. So I feel like this is just to not be impatient, to be, it's okay, like everything's gonna be fine. And that sometimes, again, things don't work the way we necessarily want them to, but that doesn't mean that they're not working. Do you know what I'm saying? So keep going with whatever you're doing. And let's just say like you, you have a business and you thought it was gonna make like, I don't know, whatever amount of money this year and it's not. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's not gonna be going well for you soon or that it was a mistake. I think it just means again that sometimes these things don't go according to plan, you know, like that's just life. And I feel like Cancer, if you can accept that, then, you know, <laughs> Um, you'll be okay. So yeah, Cancer, that's what I'm getting. Let's pull some cards. So Cancer, I'm getting this read where even though there's not that many cards out, there's an energy here. There's a very like, crazy energy here. So we have the king and the queen of pentacles, right? And I feel like this is you and your person. You could be the masculine or the feminine, choose your energy. But I feel like this is you and your person. And what's interesting about you guys is that I don't feel like you guys have been together for a long time because I feel like you guys were learning lessons while you guys were apart. So what I'm getting with that is like there was definitely a falling out, right? Like there was something that didn't work out here and you guys were separated. But how do I know you guys are like soulmates is because obviously you guys are coming up together, right? As a true pair. Another thing I'm getting is like, look what's at the bottom of this deck. We have the six of cups and then look what's at the bottom of this deck. We have the ten of cups. So I definitely think that there's still potential here, Cancer. So this is for somebody, I mean, you might have Earth in your chart. I'm getting Leo, and now I'm getting Earth, which is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, right? And now obviously Cancer. So if those signs resonate with you guys, um, then this probably is your read. Um, and what I'm getting with you guys is like, it's been a very hard journey, but what I'm getting is that where there was one stagnancy because all these cards are in reverse right where there was one stagnancy now there's going to be movement but the temptation here right now now that there will be movement the temptation here is like or not the temptation but the test really is have you guys learned the lessons that's what i'm getting with the devil and the six of coins maybe this is just specifically for you or maybe i think it's both of you like both of you have this problem when it comes to reciprocity sometimes i feel like both of you might accept less than you deserve like it's not just a you thing it's not it's not just a them thing it's a both of you thing right so when both of when you're unbalanced the relationship's imbalanced when they're imbalanced the relationship is imbalanced so it's like how do you keep balance within this relationship it's by keeping balance within right so i feel like this is two people who've had some sort of breakup in the past right where i feel like it was divine plan like divinely planned right the falling out the separation between the two of you and now once where there was someone who you know where there was this huge stagnancy this one i'm getting with this eight of cups in reverse like the stagnancy um with the eight of swords upright i mean in reverse and the king of cups now there's going to be movement right now i feel like this king is opening themselves up to their emotions right there's a lot of cup energy here we have the king of cup we have the nine of cups the ten of cups the six of cups so yeah this person is opening themselves up 
again and i feel like they're going to come towards you now you're going to have a decision to make cancer right with the lovers card and the ace of wands this is something that maybe didn't work out in the past can it work out now and that's what i'm saying i feel like the energy here is really beautiful and there is a divine partnership here but i i think that you guys have to like be careful because what might have broken you guys up in the past was imbalances within you within you guys right which is like common sense right like if you're not balanced right then things obviously aren't going to work out but i feel like maybe that's an issue somebody here doesn't like to put in the work when things get rough right that could be an issue maybe one of you likes to run away right like i feel that too so there's a lot of things at play here but i feel like you guys have already learned those lessons and i feel like that's why the devil's coming out because it's like the lesson has been learned already but can you guys can you guys move through it right so i feel like problems that you've had in the past could come up again but now are you going to deal with them differently because i definitely see this person coming back around again with the chariot like i do see this person coming back around because i do see somebody like the stagnancy is gone right like where there was stagnancy there will there will not be any more there's kind of like a reverse right or an upside down energy here where everything's kind of flipping upside down so where there was once this like hold or the spell on the two of you where nothing was moving and everything that you guys tried to do it was just better for you two to, to, to be separate and then you guys just separated now i feel like the energy is coming back around again. I don't feel like a karmic energy, to be honest, between the two of you. I don't. I feel like the devil here is the lessons, right? Because I feel like if a karmic, if this was a karmic relationship, I feel like I would see a different energy here where there was a karmic energy is like if there is no learning, right? And you guys have the same thing over and over. So maybe you two are going to be the real testimony to like if this is a karmic or not a karmic relationship because a karmic relationship is when you do the same shit 20 million times and nothing happens there's no growth there is no change but i feel like there was growth on both of your sides that's what i'm saying i feel like there was a pause or like a reprieve or like a stop so that the two of you could learn right and it wasn't just you learning it was them as well and in a karmic relationship you don't see that right you don't see growth right maybe one person has grown but the karmic relationship puts you right back on your ass right repeating similar patterns from the past like that's what i feel like a karmic relationship is with this relationship i feel like there could be a temptation to just do things the old way but both of you guys are wiser now so you should not be making the same mistakes as you made before there has been like learning and i feel like the reason the divine is putting you back now is because the lessons are over right so i don't feel a karmic vibe with this i just feel two people who maybe weren't ready or maybe had to learn a lot of shit and you know it's up to you guys it's really up to you guys but i feel like the temptation will be maybe for you um cancer that you might sometimes maybe you accept less than you deserve and that's not something you should ever do again right so maybe this person might not come with the best offer and that maybe you're, you're not supposed to take it until it's the exact offer that you want right and that's the temptation here right like there's something here that i feel like they're trying to warn you against with the devil and the six of coins and i feel like the six of coins has everything to do with like breadcrumbing and like reciprocity right so i feel like the main thing here is like if this person is not giving you what you want or what you need then that's someone you have to step away from and it doesn't matter if it's a soulmate again maybe that was the lesson right that was a lesson and that you both passed the lesson right maybe at one point this person was not treating you correctly you had to walk away and maybe at another point you weren't treating this person fairly and they had to walk away right so now that the lessons have been learned now you guys can come together but with the sage in reverse, this person's been coming up every freaking read. The sage in reverse. I feel like this is someone who, and I'm not getting a bad vibe from the sage in reverse. I'm getting a vibe more of like, the more you know, the less you know, right? Right? Like the more and more you learn on this earth, the more you find that you don't know shit. Like that's what I'm getting with this. Like, you know, um, it's hard to categorize shit. I feel like I'm trying so hard to categorize and I feel like that's maybe what you do. But I feel like these are like lessons. I feel like that's a lesson, a hard lesson this week that everyone's kind of getting with the sage in reverse where it's like, you know, you want to make a final statement. You want to make a judgment. You want to put something, you know, it's like you want to declare something, right? Like I'm going to declare that, you know, I don't know, whatever. And then it ends up not working out the way you thought it would, right? And I think it's like everyone's just being brought to their asses, you know, by the divine because it's like, it's kind of like never say never type vibe you know like you can't really make 
you know when you see something happening to someone you're like wow i can never imagine that happening to me and then it happens to you and you're like holy shit like that's kind of how i feel like this is like everybody this week is like getting that energy where it's like oh i said i would never do this and i am or i i said i'd never do that and i am so just be careful <laughs> with those like ultimative statements i don't even know if that's a word but like those statements that we make <laughs> because i feel like they don't really mean anything especially when it comes to love that's what i'm getting this week like when it comes to love uh, there is no logic but yeah i'm also getting the passage of time right because we have the youth card and now we have the sage so it's like you both have grown up right from the youth to the sage right from like the baby right like how you started this out to now the way you guys are right with just the sage so i feel like even then you're not really comfortable in the energy of the youth or the sage because i feel like both of you are just again this is like this week is just being knocked on your ass right like that's what i'm getting with this week like a lot of surprises right <laughs> but they're not necessarily bad they're only bad if you can't accept that things change and like accept the fact that sometimes even the things you say might not have value when it comes to love you know what i mean like i mean again never get into like a toxic relationship or anything like that but this this energy of like these two soulmates is actually really beautiful it's just like i feel like the temptation here is like can you guys have you really learned from the past have you really been be, have you are you really the sage like are you really that experienced where you won't make the same mistake again i found myself today like doing something that i used to do in the past and i stopped myself right away so and you know who else got taurus and um devil energy this week taurus um so if you have taurus in your chart i'll check that out so that's what i'm getting like again maybe look at taurus's read taurus's read was a lot about like decisions and how like the devil can skew things right so again be cautious today and like this week i just feel like this energy of like we have this opportunity to do things the way we used to do them and i think habits sometimes puts us especially like the older we are like habits are annoying and hard to change and sometimes we just see ourselves doing the same shit i caught myself doing something stupid and i was like oh my god i cannot believe i was like back at that point again right so just be careful but i definitely feel like with this these two people have a chance it's just again like there seems to be this temptation of like repeating the past or doing the same mistakes so don't make the same mistakes that you did before right what does that mean i don't know what that's going to mean to you guys in this relationship but when this person comes back around i feel like ego can't be a thing and you know when it comes to this decision it has to be made with love it, it can't be made with like you know <laughs> any type of like logic it just has to be it has to come from the heart right but i do feel like you guys can work through this energy right if the energy in the past was you not receiving enough then this is you having to ask for more right I like this read a lot, Cancer. Let's pull some advice. So yeah, we have watch and wait, number 53 making an eight. I feel like the seahorse with watch and wait, that's a sign to me of the king of cups, right? The king of cups in this deck is a lot, um, has a seahorse. So I feel like this masculine energy is gonna do something to surprise you. And I feel like with watch and wait, Another thing I'm getting is like the divine has a lot of surprises up their sleeve as well, right? And I also think like there is this energy of watch and wait, right? Watch and wait and see how this person acts, right? Because even though you have a feeling that in, you know, there, it is true that you two are soulmates. That doesn't mean anything, right? Like you have to make sure that the, their behavior is a reflection of what you want in your life, right? So just be careful with this because again, I don't feel like the devil is bad in this read, like in Taurus's read. I feel like the devil here is just kind of a reminder of all the shit from the past, right? It's like, have you really worked that, through that? Hmm? <laughs> like, and I think you could look at that as like the divine or you could look at that as like the devil. It depends how you look at it, right? It's same thing with this relationship. So yeah with watch and wait um i definitely think this masculine might surprise you though and with the emoji yeah the goddess of all that flows do you see how we have all this like water energy here with the emoji that's exactly what i feel like is happening here um there's like an awakening or like a dam breaking or something like the water is able to flow but it's all divine right like i think the divine put this like at a stop because they needed you guys to learn a lot of shit and now you guys are able to do it but it's only because of the divine that's what i'm trying to say like yeah, I'm an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. Like this this energy that's flowing is now in on the masculine. That's why I'm feeling this water energy is for the masculine. So that's what I'm getting with the seahorse too in this king cup energy. Like the, the masculine is now like in their cup energy. So I feel like they 
they are allowing the energy to flow and that enables them to come back to you and now with Inanna the queen of heaven and earth I have nothing to hide I see and accept all that I am I feel like that's you I feel like this has a lot to do with ego be careful like again maybe the devil has a lot to do with ego maybe the ego is what killed you guys in the past and you guys had to both go through like dark night of the souls and both go through like this type of like spiritual lesson but now it's time to kind of say like yeah I did I did win the lesson like I did I feel like this person makes you feel unbalanced you know like this person might make you feel like um you know like you can't be <laughs> balanced with them because they're like overwhelming and I feel that that's okay because I feel like that's what love is, right? It can be an overwhelming feeling. It can be like, you know, you, you care about a person so much. And maybe that's how it felt in the past. But I feel like honestly, this time it's going to be different. I feel like you're not going to be afraid to ask for things that you need. And you're not going to be afraid to say like when things aren't working out. Like I think this time is going to be different around. Just make sure like, again, that you are not that example, right? Like the things have changed. And with the ego card coming out, I feel like, again, don't let your ego and your pride be a reason why you you know when when it comes to this decision there it, there can't be an ego involved that's what i'm getting this is the lesson that i feel like both of you guys have been through though it's like defeating the ego right or incorporating the ego right because it never goes away but incorporating it into our lives right so i feel like that's what the devil is like have you really done a good job at that and this is like the test right so yeah cancer this is a beautiful read i'm really happy for you guys <laughs> i really love you and i'll see you guys next time Bye.